Oi, hello there. I'm around the other side of the apartment building. Um, okay, my neck has gotten a little bit fatter. <laughs> um, but, like, this is, that's where the slouch, that's Fallen House. That's the slouch bird. <laughs> I went down and around, and I started recording a one take going down the stairs and going out the front door, which is still doing its weird locked thing. And then I got around out in front of the student building area and there was just a butt ton of boys that were making a ass ton of noise and kind of ran up near me because they wanted to be on YouTube. And I just, you know, and I just like put the camera away and I stopped recording and I was like, this isn't going to be a good one take. Plus they kind of messed up the whole thing, but who knows, maybe that's what they were intending to do. <laughs> they were not speaking Dutch. If they were, they were speaking a very slang form of Dutch. <laughs> but anyways, so now I'm just walking a little bit. I, I engaged a walk on the watch, but... So, Aaron was supposed to have an appointment today. Um, he winds up feeling a lot better after his bit of sickness yesterday. So he was at work. But he had an appointment. I was thinking about a sleep study. We didn't really know what it was about because I don't remember them talking about it because he had the phone appointment about the whole, you know, blocking, you know, hooked him up to the machines. And I think, anyways, they called it up and he said it was something about an ENT and he just canceled it because it was already confusing and we didn't know what was going on. So, <laughs> that was weird enough as is. And so he canceled it. But because he didn't cancel it till like 10 o'clock, I had already engaged executive dysfunction mode. <laughs> Sounds weird. But executive dysfunction mode is similar to what would happen with like football practice. Unless it happened early in the day or there was something happened in the middle of the afternoon, I would do nothing all damn day. <laughs> Like some, you know, like my vlogs wouldn't start until that. So that's why I started doing a football vlog on the Thursdays, kind of. It's because I needed something to do or I was just going to do nothing. And it was weird. <laughs> Big steps. <laughs> but like I said, it was weird. And today was that same thing. I was just sitting down and I edited yesterday's video and it all went good. <laughs> Got on, sat on Raleigh, my mage, and was like, let me go do Razageth. Went out and mined, just mine. I was gonna mine until I got my queue. Realized I'd been in the queue for 55 minutes. And we were at full healers, full DPS, needed two tanks. And I was like, well, fuck this. So, I logged off and went and dinked around at a couple other characters and ate lunch and <laughs> so after that I went back in to go get in for Terra the, the Terra swing because I want to be able to mine Terros. <laughs> Terros gotta harden that D that oh, those R's gotta flick them a little bit more. Not Terros, Terros. Terra. Anyways, and so it gets funky. That, but then I got into a weird um, Kurog only. Like I came in, I was like, "Oh great, Terrace is already dead, and we're doing the spider." And I realized that everyone is like looping around, and I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing?" They were coming down from the spider boss, so I only killed Kurog, and it was the weirdest Kurog fucking thing I'd, I'd done. <laughs> um, because usually the way Raid Finder on my group starts out, my groups, is we start out with air, then we go to earth. Kill, you know, then he goes to the middle, we kill the earth guy, we kill the air guy. Then he comes back out, we go to frost, and then we go to fire. Sometimes they start with fire and they go to frost. And we go counterclockwise or whatnot. I don't know. Sometimes we go right, sometimes we go left. But regardless, <laughs> We're not putting like frost and fire up at the frost and earth up at the same time. Regardless. 
<laughs> I say that a lot because I'm like side tangenting. Anyways, so he goes to the middle, then comes back out, and he goes to Frost. Awesome. <laughs> Demon Hunter gets all weird and kills a bunch of range and himself because he gets the. Anyways, Demon Hunters be dumb. <laughs> and so they. But then we move on to fire, and like right before he's about ready to jump into the middle, he just dies. I didn't notice his health because I was too busy trying to dodge lava pools, but we killed him before the second intermission. Then I got into Razageth. There was two official um, things of determination on that one, and a bunch of people really PO'd. <laughs> like someone had switched to all caps, and that was annoying. But, <laughs> well, I can watch their television from here. Anyways, I'm not going to show that off. But I'm just saying, your television is very big and your windows are very big. You might actually see, when I turn the corner, how big their window. Jesus Christ. Anyways, so, yeah. We have, we wound up getting up to like seven stacks of, of determination because people were goofing up. We wound up getting it, and I wound up getting, you know, no thing, nothing out of that. Can I go through that? No, I can't. But yeah, I wound up going, <laughs> you know, and so I just, it, it's been, it's been a day on WoW, and I think I'm just going to dick around on a, on one of my characters. My priest hit 70, my holy priest hit 70. I want to get into like the healing of the raid finders and group content, but I got did that so late that like I'd have to log in to where people are doing group content, but I can't go and do anything with like it's it's like, <laughs> there isn't a lot of good group world content, <laughs> but you know the primal storms is one thing. It's just when they show up and I'm active and doing stuff in the middle of the day, it's North America. It's the middle of the night. Nobody's on to take portals. Despite the fact that I can heal the living shit out of an elemental shaman tanking three elite mobs. <laughs> Doran. He was Doran. So <laughs> anything on top of that. But still, I never really have any qualms about my healing ability. But when I go into raids, I do tend to be a little bit more uh, global healing. <laughs> I tend to use more AoE heals, prayer of healing, circle of healing, stuff like that. So, who knows? I just kind of want to get him gear, but I need to do world quests to get him gear and there's no gear on the world quest up right now. <laughs> I could craft some things from various characters. Wrists from Raleigh, because I bypassed the quest on him. So he's got all five sparks. But I thought, oh, I'll just go out and I'll do invasions, primal storms. Nobody was on. Nobody's out killing primal storm stuff. I mean, they are. <laughs> And I follow around some mindless hunter, alliance dwarf hunter, and I just like throw out the divine star every once in a while to get tag on mob. But regardless, <laughs> that's just how it goes being a healer. I could spec shadow. I just I don't I don't wanna I wanna I wanna play a healer. It just is hard to solo as a healer. You basically run around waiting for someone that you can keep alive. <laughs> Even though I could run dungeons, he's not enough for heroics. <sighs> Anyways, what do we got? Nine minutes? Yeah, okay. It's nice that the garbages are emptied now. <laughs> the guy came through and emptied every single one this morning, but they've been picking up throughout Centrum. A lot. So, yeah.